This Sunday is the tenth Sunday after Pentecost, with commemoration of Saint Eusebius. First Epistle of Saint Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, you know that when you were heathens, you went to dumb idols, according as you were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God saith anathema to Jesus, and no man can say the Lord Jesus but by the Holy Ghost. Now there were diversities, now there are diversities of graces, but the same Spirit, and there are diversities of ministries but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but the same God who worketh all in all. And the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man under profit. To one indeed, by the Spirit, is given the word of wisdom, and to another, the word of knowledge, according to the same Spirit. To another, the grace of healing in one Spirit, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, the discerning of spirits, to another, diverse kinds of tongues, to another, interpretation of speeches. But all these things are, but all these things, one and the same spirit worketh, dividing to everyone according as he will. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, Jesus spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves as just and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one was a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee standing prayed thus with himself, O God, I give thanks that I am not as the rest of men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, as also is this publican. I fast twice in a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not so much as lift up his eyes towards heaven, but struck his breast, saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I say to you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other. Because everyone that exalted himself shall be humbled, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Reminder that tomorrow is Holy Day of Obligation, the Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mass tomorrow night at 7 p.m. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Amaria, Blessed Father, and Almost Echo, the Nectar of Us, the Nectar of Us, the Two Jesus. I am not as the rest of men. These are the words in today's gospel parable, the words of the Pharisee. The Pope St. Pius X uses this gospel passage to describe the pride of modernists. This holy Pope explains that it is pride which puffs them up with that vain glory which allows them to regard themselves as the only possessors of knowledge and makes them say, elate and inflated, with pre presumption, we are not as the rest of men. And which, lest they should seem as other men, leads them to embrace and to decide, devise novelties even of the most absurd kind. It is owing to their pride that they seek to be reformers of others, 
while they forget to reform themselves. Truly, there is no road which leads so directly and so quickly to modernism as pride. Pope St. Pius X sees in modernism serious and sinister errors which lead to the destruction of the Catholic faith and indeed all religion. The Catholic Church, of course, will remain intact until the end of the world, but that, that does not mean that heresies will not seduce a significant number of the human element of the Church. Objectively speaking, modernism leads to apostasy and atheism. It is for this reason that modernism, which is the synthesis of all heresies, is more terrifying than the worst pandemics in history. The Black Death only caused physical death, whereas modernism causes the loss of faith and eternal damnation. The terrible Black Plague, or bubonic plague, held deadly influence over the body, but it held no influence over the soul and eternal life. On the other hand, the plague of modernism, devastating the church today, can influence spiritual realities and lead to what is known as the second death. As sorrowful as physical death is, the Lord God, who is the author of life, it is a damnation of souls which is more sorrowful. Modernism, or neo-modernism of today, has the potential to separate a great number of souls from Jesus Christ and his church. Pope St. Pius X explained that pride was the chief cause of modernism. The deadly sin of pride find an abode in modernism. modernism. Pride was a sin which caused Lucifer to rebel against God and to be cast down from heaven. Pride is a deadly vice by which modernism emulate their spiritual father, the devil. Modernists puff themselves up with pride as they arrogantly scuff at tradition. It is pride which causes the modernists to have contempt, for example, for the theology of St. Thomas Aquinas and scholasticism. It is pride which tempts modernists to believe that they have a better understanding of sacred scripture than of all the fathers and doctors of the church. It is pride which causes the modernists to embrace immanentism. It is the modernist doctrine of immanence which reeks of Gnosticism. Modernists insanely make a god of himself. The modernists become intoxicated by what he perceives as his own brilliant brilliance and enlightenment. Drunk with self-love and pride, the modernist desires and seeks to reinterpret the past, destroy tradition, and create a new church made in his image and likeness. It would seem as though, as one writer put it, as though within the disordered mind of the modernist, that there is a hall of mirrors, as if in a maze of mirrors in a funhouse in which the modernist has become willingly trapped as he has fallen in love with the many reflections of himself in the maze of mirrors. Tradition has been maliciously assaulted by the modernists as they attempted, attempted to destroy the church from within. Tragically, despite the, the dire warnings of Pope St. Pius X, much of the modernist agenda has come to its rotten fruition, and currently more of the modernist agenda is being openly promoted by the highest levels of the church. Modernists believe in the evolution of dogma and doctrine in such a way that dogma and doctrine become mere signs of religion that are adaptable to the particular situation that a church finds herself at a particular time. 
As such, the Mars will label those who believe and defend the immutable truth of the authentic and traditional Catholic faith as being rigid, too strict. Now, for a real Catholic, the truth and the principle of judgment are found in an external source. Or, that is to say, the truth is found in divine re revelation contained in the sacred deposit of faith. However, the modernist holds that the truth is imminent or within oneself. As the modernist makes the principle of judgment interior to man. Modernist, modernism turns man inward only to find man. Modernism sets up within man an altar to himself as man becomes the object of worship. Therefore, it is apparent that the champions of modernism are Satan and pride. However, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The Blessed Virgin Mary, as we know from the various prophecies of the Lady of Fatima, the Lady of Good Success, is a destroyer of heresies, and is she who will triumphantly crush again the head of the ancient serpent. The Lady Fatima, pray for us. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.